In this video, I'll be doing a review of Netrunner 13.12. So it's based on Ubuntu 13.10 and uses a more stylized version of KDE than what Kubuntu comes with. I think some of the features that they've done to it really do look quite fancy. Uh, okay, the menu they've gone for looks a bit more like cinnamon now. But where it's highlighting the icons with the fluorescent line underneath it, it looks quite nice and I'm not sure if any other distros have done that. I can't think of any. Yes, it's uh, kind of setting itself away from the crowd a little bit with that. One really good feature that they've done to KDE this time round is enabled use of the Windows key. So Windows key is bound to opening up the menu. And I'm calling it Windows key, we also know it as Super key in Linux, of course. So you can bind it to opening up the task menu or you can swap it around and use Home Run Launcher and bind it to use that instead. That looks really nice. Okay, so looking at the desktop, we have a few icons on there, but they're fixed in place, so I can't go and drag and drop them around. Uh, perhaps I might be able to delete them though, so let's select one and press delete. Yes, you can delete them that way. Excellent. And how about my computer, does that go? Yep, so they can all be deleted. Good, I like to have a clear desktop. On the bottom left hand side we have the application launcher. So what they've got this time is a few icons on the left hand side. These are the favourite applications. So you can select the application, right click and add to a favourites. And then on the favourites menu on the left hand side there you can right click and then select remove from favourites. The application menu here is quite quick and responsive. So it does start finding applications as soon as you start typing. So within three letters I found Firefox and I could open it up. We've got shortcuts to Dolphin, Firefox, that'd be where the applications are, a Quake console-like terminal, contacts, clipboard, volume control, network, time and calendar, and that's linked to my Google account. Although it's a bit, a bit slow to update, because I know I've got more events in there than that. Got launcher for another finder, so let's try Firefox again. Oh, that's very quick to respond, that one. Straight on there, guessing what it was after. About Dolphin. Oh yes, excellent. So I'd opened up the readme file for Netrunner. Ah, so it's got an installation guide on how to deal with a UEFI secure boot BIOS. And they're a nightmare to deal with, aren't they? Can't think anything good came from that. We've also got a guide on how to install Netflix, how to use web accounts. So yeah, it's got a few tutorial guides here. Looking further at Firefox, you can see we've got Adblock pre-installed. Just rob us YouTube creators of that small bit of money. We've got a download helper, which is great for slowing down Firefox. And we've got a download manager. We've also got a few links down here. So we've got Jack and Joe application store, I think it is. I can't really describe it very well. A Netrunner magazine and Netrunner's website. This is just weird, this home of Jack and Joe. So really, you just can go through here and select an application and then click install this package and it just launches the package manager. Okay, Thunderbird's already installed. <laughs> Coincidence that I clicked that one. Uh, let's try... Um, it's one that's not in here. Transmission, that's not in there. And then we get the pop-up, do you want to install application? No, I don't. So let's give it a Firefox. Flash Player is pre-installed in Firefox. I mentioned earlier about the option of using the Home Run Launcher. So that's something you can add to either the desktop or one of the panels. The standard Home Run Launcher. There you go, that's the Unity-like launcher for KDE. So you can search through recent documents and applications. I just so happens I've not got any documents on here. You can also shut down the system for you as well. Now it is a quite a nice feature, this Home Run Launcher. That's been around for a little while, so I'm not going to dwell on that too much. And as with a standard KDE desktop, there are an assortment of other widgets you can install. Um, yeah, lots. <laughs> no, no, that's gone too fast to read properly. Lancelot launcher. <laughs> What's this one? That was another style of launcher. So you can have a few different styles of launcher in Netrunner. 
So let's take a look through the applications. So the games has an assortment of uh, lighter games as well as Steam. Graphics, we have GIMP and Krita for image editors. Internet, we've got Firefox for the web browser. We've got Skype pre-installed. got Thunderbird for email. Multimedia, we have Clementine for the music player. Oh yes, my favourite. We've got VLC for the video player. There's Caden Live installed for the video editor. That's my favourite video editor. That's what I use all the time for my videos. Office, we have a partial suite of LibreOffice and just one application off Caligra Office for making flowcharts. There's a variety of settings that you can tweak in KDE. And for the software sources, you can see there are a few additional repositories on here. So we've got the repository for Netrunner, and we've got the repositories for Steam, Google Talk. System, so we've got VirtualBox pre-installed. For the software center, you've got Moon Discover and the more advanced version, you've got Moon Package Manager. Another thing, we've got a side panel there that gets hidden, so that's uh, so it's got the ability to do file previews here, which is quite nice. And you've got a time. The last thing it can do is gestures. Now I saw it working on the video, but don't know how you meant to get it working though. <laughs> And here's what I thought of Netrunner 13.12. So that's a much nicer look and feel than the standard KDE desktop. Of course, styling is all opinion-based, but that's just what I feel about it. But on the downside, the responsiveness and speed feel much slower than they should do. It feels a lot slower than Kubuntu does. Don't know why. But it's certainly easy to use out of the box for a new user, and it has a good selection of applications pre-installed. So if you're a new user who wanted something that could look kind of like Windows 7, Netrunner could certainly be an ideal distro. But overall, I've given it 82%. Thanks for watching. See you later.